Hey Freedom, Pastor Michael here, and this series 12511 has been great. I really hope that you've walked away, you know, learning a lot and understanding the way of our master and the way uh, we should become as, as stewards and as ones who have been entrusted with, with many talents. And as we've continued through this parable, um, another, another part of it that jumps out at me that I wanted to share with you today is uh, from Matthew 25, verse 29, when the master uh, actually speaks to the one with the five talents and also to, to the others that, that I would imagine would be listening in the moment. And he says, you know, for uh, the one who has, uh, more will be given. And to the one that uh, has little, even what he does have will be taken away. And in the Amplified Version, part of what it, what it emphasizes there in the moment is for the one who values his blessings and gifts from God, uh, more will be given and he'll be richly supplied to where he steps into abundance. Uh, but to the one who disregards or ignores the blessings and the gifts of God um, and doesn't steward them wisely, even what he has is going to be taken or stripped from him. And so, you know, in thinking of that, I just want to do a talent check with you uh, today just to just to say, hey, what is it that God has given you? Uh, can you reflect? Can you look um, at your life and look in you at what God has given concerning his blessings and his gifts? Um, how has God uh, provided for you financially uh, to where you have resources that can be used and stewarded well for him. And so in thinking through that, when we value what he's given us, then more will be given because we're going to be motivated to steward and use those things wisely. My prayer is that we would not be the one that's caught disregarding, overlooking, not even seeing the blessings and the gifts that God has given us because he's so generous and so good to us that, that he gives uh, in an overflow manner in our life. So whether you realize it or not in this moment, there is overflow at work in your life. And so I just want us to, to be able to see it, that that Holy Spirit would would open up our eyes to, to take notice of it all around us in our life. We're, we're so blessed and we have the ability to use it wisely in such a way to have another outcome. And that outcome is the 11. It's the overflow. It's, it's the abundance that he would be able to trust us with more because we're doing so well with what we have presently. So that's my, my, my heart, our, uh, God's desire and, and uh, my desire through this moment. So let me just pray with you in regards to this. Father, we just thank you that there's so much that you've given us to value. And as we value it, God, I, I pray that we would use it wisely that we would recognize and see the gifts, the blessings that you've deposited in our life, Lord, for your glory. And so I just pray that the Holy Spirit open us up to see and take note of it and to be thankful. And then not only thankful, but, but to step into activity. And so, Lord, as we do that, I thank you that we at Freedom, we're not going to be a people that disregard or overlook what you've given us. And Lord, in doing so, I thank you that there's going to be more that you're going to resource us with. I thank you, Father, that there's more that we're going to be able to steward wisely for you because we're doing so well with what you've given us, given us presently. And so we just declare this right now in Jesus' name. We thank you for who you are and what you're doing in our life. You're a good God, a good master, and, and we want to serve you well. In Jesus' name, amen. You guys be blessed. Remember, do a talent check through your day and watch what God does with what he's given you.